Welcome, Leo, to your mid-month 15th through the 21st reading. Hope everyone is having a great month so far. Okay. Welcome back all subscribers and welcome anyone new to my channel. Okay, and sorry, my husband's talking. He's got headphones on as he's playing Gran Turismo. <laughs> he talked really loud. Sorry about that. Okay. It's funny, those headphones. Don't realize how loud you're talking when you have those on. Okay, so... Okay, let's get into your energy. Let's see what's going on for you, Leo. Okay. Oh, look at that. It fits through the Queen of Wands upside down. So you're not feeling very good at all right now. Your energy of thinking and feeling is really upset. Like something has really peed you off, right? You're really pissed off so <clears throat> I don't know if that's a bad word but <clears throat> try not to say bad words okay so something's really made you really upset and really mad okay your energy is just fiery let's just put it that way so let's figure out why you're so fiery why are you fiery fire in the spirit oh there we go Power. Okay, so you might be really upset and really mad, and you are standing in power. Either that or you're going to take your power back, or some you feel that someone has taken your power, right? So one way or another, you have power standing there. Okay, maybe you're in cat power right now, okay? No matter what that power card is your energy, that is the same as the strength card, so yeah. We'll find out right now. Verify on the present. The present is the inference. Ooh, five of pentacles. That's probably why you got mad, right? <coughs> even though you're mad and even though the five of pentacles is like coming out of the storm, uh, maybe you feel like even though something has gotten you out of a storm, maybe it still got you mad, right? You could be coming out of something really bad, but it doesn't mean that you're happy, okay? Queen of Cups upside down. Okay, so yeah, you're, and this is the past, recent past, and recent uh, near future is the Hermit. Somebody has really got you upset. So, you know, in the near future, you're going to have to go into Hermit mode, right? You're going to have to go take some, you have to go think and take some intuition and try to think about what's going on, try to find the light, figure things out. Okay, I'm probably going to get out of this this really upset uh, mode. You have the temperance. There you are again, upside down again. Now I am pissed off. Okay, there was some communication. Maybe somebody was spying on you and you knew it. Or you're spying on them because they've made you so mad. Okay. Eight of swords. Okay, they've put you in your head. Right, they have made you so upset. You've you've either found out some some information, or somebody is spying on you, and you know that they are. They're looking into your stuff. Um, wow. Yeah. Literally, somebody is either spying on you, and you found out, and this really puts you in mental conflict. Like I don't cannot believe you did that, or you. We're spying on somebody and you found out something and put you in mental conflict, however you want to see it, okay? Because <laughs> in seriousness, you are really mad. You, you know, you found out something one way or another. Let's put it that way, okay? Five of Pentacles, upside down. <sighs> well, <sighs> I don't know, guys. I don't know if this is priorities have changed or the belief system has changed. Maybe your belief system has changed because you found out this information, okay? Which led you to hopes and promises upside down. This loss, I'm done. I don't want to listen to this anymore. 
this is love. So, okay, of this love relationship, this communion that you had with somebody else, okay, the luster is gone. The diamond has lost its, and the, the diamond has lost its, uh, its shine, right? It's lost its luster. This relationship has lost its luster. Three of Pentacles upside down. So, I, I don't know if you found out something about a third-party situation. I don't know if it has anything to do with that. Or you just feel that there is no more cooperation. Or you are not going to cooperate with this person anymore because of whatever you found out over here with the Page of Swords. It's going to be a little bit different for everybody. It's a general reading. Queen of Cups over here upside down. You are not feeling very powerful. This has really got you moody, upset, okay, in the past. So, did you find this out with the Page of Swords in the past and you're still thinking about it in the present? Or was this, you know, something, yeah, like I said, was this something that was from the past? The moon, there was the secrets. Okay, I'm starting to think that this is something, guys, I've got a player here. This could be a player. <coughs> and it's going over here next to the Three of Pentacles. You might have found out something truth maybe it caused you maybe even caused a divorce i don't know and we have a king of cups so maybe you're having a you know maybe you maybe you found out about this it could be definitely a third party situation it was a secret got the cups upside down <coughs> excuse me still got that cough from that bronchitis that stuff just will not go away okay but it is getting better Okay, and so, you know, it's unfaithful. I mean, you got the Queen of Cups over here, unfaithful. Finding out something unfaithful or believing that something might be unfaithful with the moon. That's a Pisces card. Could be Cancer for some of you. Something is hidden, secret. Maybe you're feeling that way. Maybe you don't really know yet, but you're holding on tight maybe to this belief. This is the past, so maybe you haven't figured this out just yet. You're just having uh, intuition that this is going on with the moon. Secret intuition. And then maybe in the present is when you 100% figure it out. Not positive. But it makes you take control of the situation and it's giving you heartache and then uh, there's separation. Nine of Wands, a separation doesn't have to be 100% separation this time. You Maybe you just separated yourself from this person. I mean, you could live in the same house. I mean, if you live in the same house, it could just be you're taking your own rooms, right? Nine of Wands. Yeah, could be just that because it looks like you even tried to, I don't know, lick your own wounds and try to pretend like this wasn't happening. That's what it looks like. It looks like you were like... I'm trying to pretend like it wasn't happening even though you're licking your wounds. You've got three of swords licking your wounds with the nine of wands. It looks to me like you're trying to tell yourself this is not happening with the page of wands over here. Page of wands, immature. That's immature um, energy no matter what. You might feel like this person is taking advantage of you. With the Page of Wands, you know the truth about the King of Cups. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But the truth, truth is there. Or maybe you're telling yourself, if I know the truth, I will be justified. No matter what, you're, you're telling yourself somehow or another, this will be justified. You know it. You feel it. <laughs> I think you're thinking it now. Like you're using your intuition to believe that this is happening. You believe that there's a secret from the cups who's being unfaithful and here you have the cups down at the bottom. So you have it at the top and the bottom. You believe that you're a person. It doesn't have to be a cups. And this reading, Spirit's going to let us know it's cups. He's going to call it cups. So you believe that your person is being unfaithful and you believe that they're holding it. Let's see right here, holding a secret from you. I think you figure it out over here. I think it's in the present and that's why you're so mad. And you're mad here because this is when you find it. Uh, page of Swords. It could be a text message. Maybe you've seen them. 
maybe you've seen them, maybe a text message, you know, it's going to be hard to say. Okay, it could be different for everybody. And then we have the hermit over here. Now you're hermiting yourself away. It's almost like you got to the point where you're like, you know what, I don't want to talk to you no more. Lovers upside down. And of Pinnacles, Magician upside down. Ooh. The Fool <laughs> and the Page of Pinnacles. <coughs> the Page of Pinnacles and at the bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups. So definitely Spirit wants us to know that you're dealing, that this is the person that you're dealing with. Okay. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a, a Cups. It's just the way he says things. Okay, so we have... Um, Lovers upside down, like I'm hermiting myself away from this love. This love to me is no longer useful, okay? I see it as deceitful. I don't want, you know, I'm not really in love with you anymore, okay? Could even, you know, um, just don't feel the love, right? It's deceitful. It's not there. It's no good. It's a loss. Might even feel like there's a... Temptation from a Nine of Pentacles. Maybe a Capricorn or a Taurus is, is uh, you feel like they're tempting. Okay, maybe they make a lot of money. Maybe they have a lot of material things. Um, maybe they're tempting them with travel. Maybe you feel they're tempting to travel away with this Nine of Pentacles. Okay, but you feel it's a loss. Magician upside down with the Fool. So, yeah, okay, definitely imbalance and disorder with this here, right? Maybe even some fear that they're going to travel, like literally travel away from you. Like this person's taking your person away from you. Maybe there's even a little fear that they're going to do so. The fear of them taking a chance with the pinnacle. Taking a you know a new leap of faith with somebody else, you feel like you've lost them to this other person. Maybe you don't even feel like they're yours anymore. Okay, and maybe you're ha even having some resentment. Okay, the Page of Pentacles upside down. You could be having some resentment towards this, for sure. Okay, and like I said, we had the page of cups upside down. Okay, at the bottom of the deck. You know, and um, it's just total. Maybe you feel your person is disillusioned by this other person, and maybe you're also feeling very disappointed that this is happening. You know, just disbelief. I would say more disbelief than disappointment. And there could be even some disillusion here with the moon. I'm going to get a love romance card for you guys. Yeah, and it looks to me like you feel like this other person is taking your love person, like you're taking your loved one away. They're offering them things, saying things, whatever it is. And you've seen the messages or them together or however. Say. Okay, first card is pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, so pay attention to the red flags, guys. Okay. Pay attention to the red flags. We would if they start, can give us another card. <clears throat> this one says, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. I didn't see anything about whether or not you should keep this person or let this person go. I just see... 
pay attention to the red flags, just ask spirit what you should do. Should you keep, you know, for those of you who like to keep them, try to work this out. Or should I just let this other person take away my, my man or my woman? I mean, it's going to be different for everybody. Now, this one's interesting because this one says let go of control issues. And I thought I seen right here, four of pinnacles, trying to control the situation. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Whoa. And this one says retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world, but that's what you were doing when you were becoming the hermit. <clears throat> Now, does that mean retreat from the relationship? It could as well take it as it resonates with you. If that's what you heard when you heard retreat, then it means, you know, time to bail out. Then, you know, I don't see any towers up here. Um, you know, it's going to, like I said, it's going to be different for everybody. I would say let go of control issues. Maybe that means that, you know, you, I, I don't know. It's going to be different for everybody, like I said. I, there's so many of you. I, there's so much advice that I can give on certain areas, and these I just don't 100% because everybody has their own story. Success. Hmm. Okay, success in the near future. So for those of you maybe who are just going to let go of the control issues, maybe that will make the person come back to you. I am hearing that, um, you know, maybe they believe that you're too controlling and too powerful. <coughs> I'm not sure. Or if you retreat, then you'll have success. Okay. Because Spirit is also saying let go. So I'm also seeing the let go card here at the bottom of the deck. So maybe if you let go, you'll have success in the near future. However, it's going to resonate, guys. Okay. And I will get a healing card for you. You definitely need some healing on this. Okay. I would depend on how long this has been going on or how deep they've got. I, don't, I just don't know any. Yeah. Just. I just really don't know. children. Your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. So if you guys have children, maybe that's what the control issue is going to be also. You know, I mean, maybe that's one of the reasons that maybe some of you don't want to let this go is because there are children involved. Okay. So maybe you need some counseling, deep communication between each other, you know, this one says trust trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path so <clears throat> since it's not career obviously <clears throat> um, I would say trust your feelings and dreams to guide you to you know whatever makes you feel like you need to do you know, especially if there's children involved, this is going to very be very hard. Okay, so that's your reading for the month, guys, or for the mid month. And if you like this, please like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys at end month. Okay, and whatever doesn't resonate, throw away. Um, I was going to say, if this is career for somebody, then, you know, it could be. I don't see enough pinnacles up here for that, but everybody has, you know, it's weird how some things resonate with people that I don't see. So that's always a good thing, though. So um, I will catch you guys later. And peace and love to each and every one of you. And thank you for stopping by. Bye-bye.